love to rain the girl from around the way we have culture conversation and community and today i am back with uh one more chance season two episode one premiere review okay no because for real i didn't know how much i enjoyed this show until i heard the little episode song come on this one i know it been a bit of i'm like yeah Yes, I got hyped for a second. They be like, that, that nigga, that, that nigga. That's my part. If anybody want to know, that's my favorite part. I want to hit it for the back. They be like, that, that nigga, that, that nigga. Your chick is on my lap. But, um, yes, hot mess, hot mess. So, first of all, honorable mention. At the time I'm making this, Zeus Network is still doing this little ghetto, uh, <laughs> like, live stream of the red carpet is giving me very much like back in the day stream sessions girl the audio was bad and johnny was hosting it which i thought was cute i love that for them like once they get the little tweaks working and then i can maybe rewatch it another time or something i'm gonna really give y'all y'all kudos because not only are y'all giving your artists you know platforms and ownership but now you're like doing the red carpet correspondence because like it all starts with your resume if, if you can put it on your resume and sometimes you know we get the experience or really don't have the experience it's how you get your foot in the door so let's get right into episode 42 minutes long nobody got nicknames so i don't know nobody names and i'm telling y'all right now i don't know nobody's names and i'm just going to describe it but listen to this too. The opening scene was yummy in her tummy, okay? And she's like, welcome to my crib. And she opens the door very much pregnant, very much glowing and pregnant, okay? Very much sexy and pregnant. She looking like, what's up, I'm pregnant and I'm still with it. Chance, of course, you know, he's a clown. He is with the, all of the clownery. He's just like, listen, I know I was tapping and jabbing, but I didn't know I was gonna be having a baby in a way. I don't think this baby is mine. And she makes it very clear like, no, this baby's not yours. And she's walking by, she's like, is my booty getting big? And she's like flirting, like very much 10 months pregnant. He was dipping it low and you know, she was just very much giving me hot girl summer, hot girl I'm pregnant, hot girl I can't wait to drop this low. Explains that, you know, me and my baby dad is not together. Yes, I do know him. I'm like, girl, did you have to make that announcement that you know your baby dad? I would hope so, ma'am. I, I hope you know him. And she pretty much just tells Chance that she was pregnant at the reunion and so she knew she was pregnant and she was you know doing it for the cameras she doing it like it's a be day baby i don't know she's just very much you know still in her sexuality and her sensuality <laughs> if i can say that chances you know rubbing and massaging her feet she's like he's like your feet looking like roly's foot like she's like stop playing with me i'm like so y'all always got a down roly poor roly um not really because she getting a check and i'm sure her check is clear by now but um he's walking out the house and he's like let me get a little let me get a little extra love for the role and i'm just like very much like oh i'm like clutching my pearls on one hand i want to be like you know women have the right to feel sexy when they're pregnant because you're very much still a woman you're just pregnant and i know that's the real thing trust me but at the other hand like it's weird for me to see like that type of interaction when she's pregnant by the man it's just very much giving me like i don't like that <laughs> you do that and I like that. And the next scene we have Chance and his stunt double Micah um, pretty much reflecting on the trip that he did to Yummy's house and said that, you know what, this ain't a little stallion there that ain't my baby. And I'm like, you know what, good for Yummy, at least she getting a check. I know she may not be throughout the whole season, but she got paid for that episode, so good for her and her son. In the very next scene, we have the women and we meet one woman and they're one, not even one, I don't I told you, I don't remember no names. I'm not gonna be including a whole bunch of videos and footage of the episodes because I get a copyright strike on my channel. Okay, so <laughs> immediately the women are, are are pretty much shading each other, immediately. You know, I don't know why these girls are here. They're not even that pretty. Clearly, I'm one of the prettiest ones in the house. And I'm like, all right, girl, let's make this TV. <laughs> let's make TV. Chad shows up on his horse with his stunt double in tow. And I just love to see like, you know, them on the horse. I don't know what it is, you know, Black cowboys are a real thing, you know. I don't want to make this a history thing because y'all know I can't. It's really cool to see them like in that culture, you know, because it's a real thing. It's a real movement. 
And anyway, so he's like, you know, all the girls are screaming. He's like, oh, pipe that shit down, pipe that shit down, because y'all scaring my horses. <laughs> a horse owner, maybe, I'm, I'm guessing, came out like, let me get my damn horses from these people. Mike is looking at the girls, and he's reflecting on the women. Hopefully, he's like, I made a better choice this time. He stops at the girl who was in the jersey, and he pretty much said, the girl looked like Jonah Hill. When I tell y'all... When I tell y'all, I hollered. I needed that laugh. That was a good one. Chance shouts out Yodala. She's obviously had some upgrades, baby. And, you know, it was a cute little, <laughs> I'm back on scene. Then he shouts out Roly Poly because her yummy. I'm like, was that for TV or do you really miss her? Because clearly yummy um, is on his mind and her snatch must be great. He quickly, you know, retracts it and it's just like, Roly, it's good to see you. She's clearly hyped. She's like, the queen is back and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, girl, when were you the queen? But go off, sis, go off. Of course, he had to mention the lady in the jersey, okay? He was like, she looked like she about to go play soccer and he all hopping around with his kick in his foot, yo. Chance is a clown. He, he truly is. So he's feeling like he catfished himself. And honestly, like reflecting back, I think season one had a better looking bunch just as far as numbers are concerned. I can't really remember, but but these girls are looking, I don't It's a couple grandma moms. I don't know. Now to say grandma mom was terrible because I liked grandma mom. If y'all remember, if y'all watched my last, my previous reviews, but uh, um, I think, what y'all think in the comment section? Who, I think last, first season had maybe prettier women. I don't know, it was too quick. Maybe we didn't even see everybody. Anyway, he getting, he's getting the ladies hype. Are y'all ready to go in the house? Y'all ready to get some drinks? He getting them all hype. He's hopping and shuffling and jiving. Oh, I mean, he just reminds me of like a Boondocks character. Like sexual chocolate or somebody y'all should have seen this man just a fool he's a fool so the girls are running all in the house clearly zeus network has upgraded the budget okay in the words of fat joe the price just went up all right the price has gone up so they're all running throughout the house trying to get their rooms there was one girl who walked in and she was kind of like moseying on along she was in a denim outfit i'm gonna call her denim I was doing some little research though. She's like a really known like musician or something apparently. I think her name is Sharice, but I'm not sure. But I'm gonna call her Denim, but y'all know who I'm talking about. So in one room we have the self-proclaimed big titty group and the girls are all hype and they're twerking and they're like, yeah, this is the group. This is gonna be us three. And then the one girl is like, yeah, I'm here. The girl Skittles, she's a hairdresser. I know that for sure. She's like, yeah, I'm here because this is gonna be my man. And then there was another girl. I don't know her name. The girl reminds me of... Um, what was the girl name with the pigeon toes real bad? Cra she was crazy. Old girl in the face, about the face, like look like they got a little touch or something, like something, maybe like not a whole missing chromosome, but like a half missing chromosome. I don't know. But they were in there kind of talking. The one girl's were vibing and then the other girl was just like, I don't know why this girl's here. She's like, yeah, very much. I'm about to take my nails off because I'm fighting now. It was giving me like fake acting vibes. And another group of ladies, they beefing already, okay? They came in with the beef. That's, oh yeah, the one of the girls got called a bird's nest because she had a cute little pineapple. And I'm like, why is, like, why are y'all trying to go off on her bird's nest? Especially with them burnt ends she had on that weave, girl, please. She wouldn't have been able to tell me nothing with that dry weave like the girl, the other girl said. But the one girl who was sitting on the bed, she was very much giving like, you know, yeah, well, I don't really want you in here with me because you are wearing your natural hair. And it was just like a very weird flex. Like I, she's, she, what I liked, what I did appreciate was she wasn't coming with the rah rah. Oh, and this motherfucker. Like she was very much like, yeah, and I don't really like you and you're kind of whack and I don't like your hair and baby, this is what I'm going to be doing and da 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 da. And I'm like, you know, I liked her flow a little bit. Now, what she was saying was terrible. Just out of control. The girl with the natural hair, I guess she's like the light skin Miss Natural, was basically like, uh oh hold on, wait a minute. She didn't think that she would be getting played for wearing her natural hair. And I'm like, very much so, girl. What are you talking about? How could you be playing somebody wearing their natural hair? I just think it's so whack. And then the fact that the girl's wearing a terrible weave, and she said like, Everybody get a lace front. Where's your lace front? Girl, she didn't want to wear a lace front. And she probably couldn't if she wanted to. And she's like, yeah, well, I have a bird's nest. And you have a bird's nest under that wig. So stop playing with me. She was just like, listen, I didn't know I was going to get played from wearing natural hair. You're not played. That girl played herself, honestly. Because, girl, your hair was cute. And her hair in the confessional was cute, too. If that is her real hair or if it was a weed. It was cute either way. The women are just giving me very much catty. Very much I just came here to fight. Very much bad girls. Like, ugh. 
I don't want to, I ain't really into all that. They continue to be back and forth with the banter. And she's like, girl, I heard you, I heard you get blowjobs. And she's like, you don't even know me. And she's like, don't talk on my pussy or something like that. She's like, you don't even know if I have a pussy. And I'm like, wait a minute. I never heard that one before. She's like, it's 2021. Don't be out here misgendering you. You don't know what I have in my pants. And I'm like, you know what? You better tell somebody. First of all, don't speak on what you don't know. That's a quick way to shut somebody all the way the fuck down. Like, uh. Wow, wow. Okay. Anyway, she left. She like, I don't need this energy. I'm out of here. The other girl who was in the room just watching, they get into it. So she ends up jumping on the bed and starts twerking. And she's like, I'm going to get this room and you're not. After she had all this big energy for her to end up leaving the room, I just felt it was so weird. Like, who does that? We have Yodala. She's like roaming around the house and she's like, you know, with other chicks. I think her name was Tokyo. She had the sticks in her hair. She had a very cute confessional look. And she's like, it's my birthday. And she's like, oh, well, I want to look for a room. And then all of the girls are kind of following Yodala, which, okay, I see the point of trying to latch on to somebody who you know already got a little bit of stain. Then we have the mom and daughter situation. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, one of the moms, the black mom, I'm going to just call her Newport because she talked like she smoked all her life. And she probably drinks malt liquor too. But um, beef starts with the mom and daughter situation. She called the white girl eight mile girl, which was funny because she's <laughs> why they call that girl eight mile girl? That was funny. She had on her little baby girl top. Like, where you get that from? Rainbow City Trends. Not, not that I have anything against Rainbow or City Trends, but. Then on top of that, we have the two sisters going in back and forth with Roly Poly Snacks Mill. And then Roly, I think she pushed one of the girls and it was like, I don't, they're sisters and not twins. And Roly got upset and Roly teed off on a girl basically point blank because she ain't like the way she pushed her. And then it comes out that the girls were having men in the, the hotel room before the, the day before. She was calling them whore. She was like, I got the footage. Girl, Roly ain't have no fresh braid down. I'm like, Roly, why you ain't got no fresh braid down? You know you about to be on TV. I don't care if it's on national TV or not, baby. Like, come on. You know you going onto a house where you might be fighting. Your wig's going to get pulled down. It's not secure. And you want to leave in those braids? Just irresponsible. Lee and Chance start talking. Chance came in and was like, whoa, whoa, you know, what's going on here? And this, that, and the other. And then Roly's going off. She's sweating and all. And I'm like, just Roly, you are doing too much. Then the dental girl jumps in it. She was just like, I was just trying to give you a wig back. And she was calling her her pussy Botox pussy. And I'm like, this is too much. This is too much. It looks like it's going to be a brawl coming up really soon. It was just a lot going on. And, um very good first episode everybody's tuned in you know what i mean everybody's tuned in everybody's talking about it it did what it was supposed to do we didn't even get to the naming ceremony yet so again very good on the first day let me know what y'all think about this episode i was entertained this what i know it been it been it been okay that's how i'm feeling about it i know you're with me <laughs> i'm going to bed because it's late clearly for me um well, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm here for all the shenanigans. The women are really, really catty, but that's to be expected. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, and I'm seeing you in the next video. Peace.